Let's think about electrostatics. What role it can play in our daily life. Photocopier machines, laser printer, inkjet printer are some of the applications of electrostatics in our daily life. Let us now find out how does it work. Most modern photocopiers machines use a technology called xerography, a dry process that uses charges at rest in its operation. It consists of five components. Lamp, lens, aluminium drum, toner cartridge, heated roller. Lens, the lens works just like the one on your camera. We can change the distance between the lens to either reduce or magnify the size of the original image on your copy. Lamp. Although UV light has more than enough firepower to make a photocopy, it can be very damaging to our eyes and skin. This is why photocopiers use a plain old incandescent or fluorescent bulb to flash light onto the original document. Toner cartridge. Toner is a powder mixture used in laser printers and photocopiers to form the printed text and images on the paper, in general through a toner cartridge. Heated roller, heated pressure rollers are used to press the paper, so that the toner become melt and the photocopy become permanent. Aluminium drum. The photoreceptor drum is the heart of the system. A drum is basically a metal roller covered by a layer of photoconductive material. This layer is made out of a semiconductor such as selenium. Place the document you want to copy upside down, first of all light will fall on document we want to copy, light will then reflect from the document, except those areas which are not inked. Light reflected from document will reach to lens, lens will cover the reflected light on the drum. Drum, excellent conductor, usually made of aluminium and is charged positively, as drum is coated with a photoconductor material like selenium, after light falls on drum. Selenium will behave like a conductor, after conduction, areas exposed to light will become neutralized, neutralize mean free electron from the drum will neutralize. Negative charged toner then added, which attract the positive charge from drum, a paper will take the non-neutralized charge from the drum. This will produce a temporary copy of the document on a paper, this temporary copy then passes from the heating rollers to press the toner, finally then we get a permanent copy.